My greetings to everyone. My name is Olga Asajinshvili. I am a researcher from the Evgeny Haradze Georgian National Astrophysical Observatory. And I'd like to present you my talk, Reconstruction, Analysis, and Constraints of Cosmological Scholar Field Phi Models. In 1998, two teams under the leading of Pirmut and Ries, studying distance type 1A supernova, and apparently discovered that our universe is expanding with an acceleration. There are two opposite approaches for the explanation of this phenomenon, uh, the modification of the general theory of relativity on large scales, and the existence of dark energy or dark barotropic fluid with negative pressure. There are numerous dark energy models, and a partial list of which is presented here. The simplest description for dark energy is the concept of vacuum energy, or the time-independent cosmological constant lambda, first introduced by Albert Einstein. The cosmological model based on such a description of dark energy in the special flight universe is called the standard concordance or fiducial lambda cold dark matter model. This model is based on general theory of relativity for description of gravity in the universe on large scales. The energy density associated with the cosmological constant is about 70% of the total energy density of the universe at present. Being still a fiducial cosmological model at present, the lambda residual model has several still unresolved problems, the number of which increases as more accurate observational data are obtained. The main of which are the fine-tuning or cosmological constant problem, the coincidence problem, uh, the Hubble parameter tension problem, problem, the parameter SA tension problem, the problem of the shape of the universe, to be precise, the preference for observational data of the closed uh, hyperspaces, and preference for observational data of dynamical dark energy. One of the prominent alternatives to the lambda cesium model are the dynamical scalar field phi cesium models in which the scalar field can interact with gravity both minimally and non-minimally via different coupling terms. Uh, the so-called extended scalar terms and models. We will concentrate on the minimally coupled models as a simplest and more natural choice. In scalar field size models, the energy density and pressure are time-dependent functions under the assumption that the scalar field is described by the ideal barotropic fluid model. In general, the energy models are characterized by the equation of state parameter, which is the ratio of pressure to energy density. If for the lambda CD model, the equation of state parameter is a constant and equals minus one, then for phi CD models, the equation of state parameter is a time-dependent function. Dynamical dark energy can mimic the cosmological constant at present while becoming almost undistinguishable from it. High CD models are divided into quintessence and uh, phantom models. These two classes of models differ from each other by the range of the equation of state parameter values nowadays. By the sign of the kinetic term in the Lagrangian, it's positive for quintessence fields and negative for phantom fields. By the form of the klein gordon scalar field equation of motion. By the temporal evolution of dark energy. For quintessence fields, the dark energy density remains almost unchanging with time, while it, it increases for phantom fields. By forecasting the future of the universe, Dependent on the special curvature of the universe, the quintessence models predict either an eternal expansion of the universe or a repeated collapse. On the other hand, the phantom models uh, predict the destruction of any gravitationally related structures in the universe. By the dynamics of uh, scalar fields, the phantom field rolls to the maximum of its potential uh, while for quintessence field, depending on the ratio of the second friction term and the phi derivative of the potential, the scalar field claim Gordon equation of motion describes the regimes of quick rolling down and slow rolling down to the minimum of its potential. Quintessence is a special uniform dynamical scalar field slowly rolls down to the minimum of its most 
flat potential. This model avoids the fine tuning problem of the Lambda CD model and plays a role of the time dependent cosmological constant at present. Quintessence models are subdivided into Thurlin models for which the evolution of the scalar field is fast and into tracking models for which the evolution of the scalar field is slow compared to the Hubble expansion. The time-dependent equation of state parameter in the FICD models is often characterized by the chevalier polyamsky linder polymerization, where each type of FICD models has specific ranges of omega-0 and omega-A values inherent to them. The FICD model influences the evolution of the large-scale structure in the universe. A quantitative characteristic of the large-scale structure formation in the universe is the value of the growth rate. The growth rate can be obtained by numerically integrating the linear perturbation equation with respect to the linear growth factor D. Wang and Stenhardt identified a power law relationship between the fractional matter density and growth rate. The gamma factor is a growth index. The value of each depends on the chosen theory of gravity. Uh, for the lambda CDM model, its value equals 0 0.55, while for the Dvali Gabadadze Parati brain world model, it is 0 0.68. Eric Linder has offered fitting expressions to parameterize the gamma factor for PCD models. We studied seven phantom and 10 quintessence scalar field PCD models with corresponding potentials. We used uh, these sets of equations to study phantom and quintessence models considering the special flat universe there. To define the background dynamics for these models, it is necessary to jointly integrate the first Friedman and scalar field equations. The values of initial conditions for these equations, as well as the values of model parameters for all above mentioned potentials are unknown exactly. In this regard, we have developed a method to determine them. For which potential among numerous solutions, they found solutions describing the reliable universe for which the following three criteria must be simultaneously fulfilled. The moment of the matter and dark energy quality happened relatively recently. Uh, the growth rate and the fractional matter density are parameterized by the linear gamma parameterization. The chosen current equation of state parameters values should correspond to the exp um, expected current equation of state parameter values for these models. In the result, uh, they obtained ranges of the initial conditions and model parameters which bring uh, to such solutions. They applied the results obtained as a prior ranges of the initial conditions and model parameters for the MCMC analysis, which were carried out to answer the question. Is it possible to determine the preferred dark energy models compared to the Lambda CDM model at present effort using the predicted data from the dark energy spectroscopic instrument called DESI observations? The MCMC analysis based on calculated values of the normalized Hubble parameter the angular diameter distance, the combination of the growth rate of matter density fluctuations, and the matter power spectrum amplitude for each phi CDM and lambda CDM models in these um, redshift ranges. Our variances correspond to the predicted variances for these observations. In the result of the MCMC analysis, for each potential, a posterior ranges of model parameters and initial conditions were obtained, which include the prior ranges of initial conditions and model parameters. 
for instance, um, two sigma confidence level counters for various pairs of the three parameters for some models are presented here. Uh, for the um, uh, save the number Goldstone boson model, for the quintessence uh, Zlatov Bank Stanford model, for the quintessence um, Rata Peebles um, model. Uh, carrying out the MCMC analysis with upcoming DACI data, they obtained these ranges of um, omega m and alpha parameters um, at three sigma confidence level. The, the Rata Peebles 5 CDM model is uh, compliance with the Lambda CDM model. They applied these posterior ranges to conduct uh, Bayesian statistics. For this aim, they calculated the ICAC and Schwartz information criteria, as well as the bias evidence. According to the results obtained, uh, applying uh, the Bayesian statistic analysis, we could not uniquely identify preferable 5CDM models compared to the fiducial lambda CDM model uh, based on the predicted DACI data. They also investigated how the various color field models can be approximated by the CPL parametrization. To this end, they plotted the CPL lambda CDM three sigma confidence level contours using MCMC technique and displayed on them the largest ranges of the current equation of state parameters values for each PCDM model. These ranges were obtained for different values of model parameters or initial conditions from the uh, prior ranges. Based on the results obtained, PCDM models can be divided into models which uh, have a tractor solution uh, and usual solution and on the models which are undistinguished, distinguished, and can be either distinguished or undistinguished from the lambda CD model at present epoch. In the conclusion, I'd like to mention that we reconstructed quintessence and phantom scalar field 5 CD models using the phenomenological model method developed by us. Using the Bison statistical analysis, they could not uniquely identify preferable 5 CDM models compared to the fiducial lambda CDM model based on the uh, predicted DACI data, and the lambda CDM model is the true model. Mapping 5 CDM model, models in the phase space of the CPL lambda CDM contours, they could identify the subclasses of these models, which have their tractor and usual solutions can be distinguished, cannot be distinguished, can be either distinguished or undistinguished from the Lambda model at present epoch. Thank you for your kind attention.